have gone very badly. Hey guys, let's chat. So today I wanted to talk a bit about nervous habits and anxiousness. And this idea came about because earlier this week in chemistry class, we were doing a lab. And for this particular assignment, I was a bit confused on what to do for one part of it. And I had attempted it on my own to try to just figure it out, but it was just a bit confusing. So after kind of just struggling a bit on what to do, I finally just broke down and asked somebody for help. Asked somebody for help. And they explained it to me in a way that made sense. So I was like, thank God, now I can finally finish this assignment. So I finished it up and I went to go have it checked. But the thing was that I hadn't checked over my previous work. I don't know why. <laughs> but I didn't. And so when I went up there, the professor was like, oh no, you, you did this and you were doing this and this. And he wasn't being mean about it. He was just critiquing the work as he saw it, like as a teacher should. He wasn't being sarcastic or condescending or whatever. But in my brain, I was thinking, are you fucking serious? You know better than this. <laughs> I mean, that just happens like when you get critiqued in work and then you see the mistakes coming up and you're like, oh, I knew that though, I knew it. And that was happening to me. But why this whole idea for this video at all came about was because of the way I reacted. I did a weird thing that I hadn't really done before. And basically we're on the little countertop science station and he's looking over the work and I'm looking over kind of like this over the counter looking over and so my hand kind of just starts to go like this and I start scratching the back of my neck like this and that's something that I don't normally do when I'm nervous or anxious or anything like that when I'm nervous or anxious I tend to move my hands around but I don't ever like like that kind of thing I just kind of move my hands like a typical one is like I kind of just move against my pointer finger little joint thing. And then I was thinking like, there are so many different variants of nervous habits though. Like some people stutter, some people can't breathe, some people just go stiff. I can go stiff if I'm really, really scared. But when I'm nervous, I'm just kind of like, I just, you know, like I think I'm, it must be me trying to get the tension out or something. I don't really know. But it just had me thinking about it. And then of course, I do have anxiety and I'm gonna sound like a crazy person. I have a very big issue with leaving things behind. And by this, I mean, whenever I go traveling, I make a list of everything that I bring, like toothbrush, toothpaste, how many bands I bring, all of the clothes that I bring. Everything that I take along on a trip goes on this list. And everything that I buy in the country will go on the returning list. And then I go in through and I check it off to make sure that I have everything. And whenever I leave a classroom, I will like check the perimeter of my desk, making sure that there is nothing I left behind underneath it or around it. And then when it comes to like leaving my car or leaving my house, I always like double make sure that I locked the house, that no one's going to break in because I forgot to lock it or that I will lock my, I literally will lock my car about three or five times. I'll hit the little lock button on the little key thing more times than is necessary, even though I'm totally totally consciously aware that the door is in fact locked because I pulled on it, but as I'm walking away, I'm like, okay, I see the little lights flashing. It's locked. Is it locked? It's locked. Yes, it's locked. I don't have an explanation for this other than I'm just really paranoid that people are going to break into my car. <laughs> And I also, I remember reading somewhere, seeing somewhere, watching some kind of video where it was saying like, when you do something so often, you tend to forget that you do it. That's why when people are like, oh, what did you have for dinner or something like that? And it's not something that is like extraordinary. It's just kind of like everyday dinner. You don't really remember. But if it's more of a special event, that makes it more memorable. So every day where you do the same thing, you leave your house, you lock the car, you get into your car, you drive to school and you lock your car and you walk to school, it's all just gonna seem like a blur because it's the same thing that you do every day. So maybe that's it and I feel like, did I forget to lock the car? I've just always been such an anxious person. So yeah, anxiety makes people do weird shit, but that does not make 
you weird because I know sometimes people feel weird about having anxiety or depression or any kind of mental illness because it makes them feel like a freak or something but you're not a freak because I know sometimes people feel very uncomfortable talking about mental illness and that kind of thing but I think it's also gotten a lot better now and everything because I think people recognize it more as something that should be paid attention to does that make sense like people kind of recognize it more like people are not now just saying like oh just get over it I mean there are people who do still say that but I think it's getting better so that's 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 some good news that's a good sign do you guys like my Peter Pan mug cuz I love it <laughs> I got it for my birthday that's completely off topic let's let's hop back so that's really just what I wanted to talk about today. I just thought it would be interesting and funny maybe, and it lets you guys know a bit more about me, which is fun. Yeah. I think that's all I have to say today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting <laughs> in one way or another. If you did, then hey, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see some more videos from me, then please hit subscribe. And until next time, Bye-bye.